Hey guys, good to have you back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret from the Netherlands. I am doing the 100 day project and today is day 88. So this is my idea for today. I have wallpaper, I have lots of wallpaper. I love wallpaper, I sell it in my shop. Um, most of you like the wallpaper that are sort of, you know, floral designs, pretty. I like those as well, but then you're left with all these sort of more neutral wallpapers. And believe me, you can do so much with these. So I want to show you what you can make with these by making some beautiful envelopes. I love making envelopes from this paper because they're nice and sturdy, but still a little bit flexible. So we're making um, envelopes for the botanical journal today. Okay. Let me tell you what we'll be using today and let me tell you a little bit about the prototype. I made this out of sort of ivory uh, wallpaper. It's nice and flexible, but still very uh, sturdy. I made the closure with a circle and a brad and I started decorating it with some washi tape. Uh, so we're going to need some wallpaper. I already picked some neutral ones in different sizes so you can make different sizes of envelopes. I want a pencil, scissors, a craft knife, metal ruler if you're going to use a craft knife, uh, some sort of scoring tool. I am going to use my scoreboard, you don't need it however. Um, I like art glitter glue for this. If you don't have art glitter glue, don't try a gluing wallpaper with glue stick. Have some really, really good glue. Uh, um, my circle punch to make the nice circles with, oh, washi stickers to decorate and some brass for now. For now, maybe I'll add some more stuff, but let's first first start with uh, constructing these envelopes. I can give you measurements. I don't need to give you measurements because you can make them in any size you want. Yeah, let's start with the small one. What you cannot see on camera probably is this has some sort of a trellis on here with um, some leaves. It is a very nice delicate sort of wallpaper has some sheen on it i am picking my big scoreboard yay here's kermit there you go this piece is like six inches by eight and a half yeah um i have chosen let's flip this around because this works better on the back side of the wallpaper I have chosen to score it at half an inch. If you have a bigger piece, we'll try a bigger piece later. You probably want to score it somewhat bigger. So on the taller side, score it at half an inch. There you go. And again, I'm going to flip this around because this works better for me. Again, at half an inch. There you go. Because this is white, um, and my eyesight is not really that well. I am going to sort of trace it again, score it again with my pencil. Because we need to make some cuts later. And I want to see where the score lines are. You don't need to do this if you're like, well, I can see just fine. You don't need this. Good. Now what we want to do is see how um, tall we want our envelope to be. I think I want it this tall. And then flipping it over all the way to the end. I want to flip it all the way to this end. Have it as straight as possible. <laughs> That'd be nice. See? So. All we have is basically we have an envelope now if you glue it um, here and here envelope done but i want it to be a little bit more fancy that is why i made these score lines now what i want to do is i'm going to use my scissors yeah i want to cut this bit until the first fold that we made that's why i put a pencil mark here if you don't have a scoreboard, you just, you know, uh, draw a line half an inch up until that fold. And then I 
slanted. Yeah? Also going to do that on the other side. Try to cut it as straight as possible. And then again, slant it. Now, on this top side, I just want to slant it until this next fold. Can you see? So I'll put a mark here. This is where we folded it. Make a snippy on both sides. Now make a decision how you want your flap to be. If you want your flap to have straight edges, you can cut it straight. If you want it to be uh, sort of slanted, what I want to do, then you cut it a little bit uh, well, slanted. I do want to measure this because I want them to be sort of equal. I am going in half an, half an inch. I'm just going to mark it. Half an inch here. And half an inch here. And then you can cut this, draw a line, cut this, or get your knife out, whatever you want. I am going to draw a line because that's what we've been doing. Here and here. And then I am simply going to cut it, hopefully straight. There's lots of different ways that you can make your flap. You could have it straight and then um, round it with your corner rounder. Or maybe you could even, if you have a die cut machine, just have a nice edge on it. Mm. You can do all sorts of things. Right, now basically we have the envelope now. Um, the idea of this envelope is to have these flaps on the inside. And then this on the outside. But I like the more um, industrial look. I like to have the flaps on the outside. That's just me. That's just me. So make up your mind. You want the flaps on the inside or the outside. I want them to be on the outside. So folding this up all the way. I am not gluing this last piece here. Let me zoom you in to show you. I'm not gluing this last piece here because otherwise it will get stuck here. What you also can do, what I am going to do, is lower this a bit. Make this a little bit shorter. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that. That's no problem. I'm just going to take off a little piece. You could also have a notch in it with your uh, circle punch. I just want this to be a little bit lower. Yeah, why not? Why not? Have this in. Again. Be sure not to glue on this bit then, otherwise it will be really, really stuck. So I'm gluing here and here. Uh, inking, no, because um, this wallpaper has sort of a, a not, not a plastic coating, but a, well, sort of a plastic coating because this is like washable wallpaper and if you ink it it will rub off straight away if you have very very nice old vintage wallpaper the very old stuff that i also have but you know i hoard it uh, then you can use ink but i am not going to i did not cut it straight see that's okay just snippy snippy this really needs to dry so i am going to get my assistance my lovely assistance there you go and then i am making um the closure you can also make the closure before you glue this in it doesn't really matter um i'm doing it afterwards Doing it before would be easier though. Yeah, let me zoom you out again because hello. There you go. Okay, so the envelope is dry. It's already lovely, but I want this to like stick down. Well, not stick down, but want it to hold it down. I have chosen a piece of wallpaper scrap with a contrasting color. 
but a little bit in the color scheme of the decoration I want to use on it. Well, you know, thought about it. And then I'm using my circle punch. Yep. This is too flimsy as it is. So I want to make it a little bit more sturdy. I have my little small tin with, oh, this is oh, as well. Oh yeah, green. With my already punched circles, very handy to have nearby. So I'm going to back them. Oops. I am just going to make one. So not one here and one here, and then I use um, some sort of thread or, or twine or what have you. So just this one. And now I am going to look for a brad that works well with this. I'm going to use a small one. I think this like sort of mossy foresty green will look nice, yeah? What do you think? I think so. I think so. Now, I am taking out my all pokey tool, whatever you want to call it. And I am positioning it in the middle. In such a way that the flap, you can tuck it under. See? It's going to be sort of a, a tuck. <laughs> Eyeballing the middle. And then gently poking a hole through both sides. Both layers. Not both sides. Both layers. Not this one. So be very careful. See? I have a hole. Putting my wrap through yep normally i tell you where to get these breads well i got them from my uncle ollie but i am very much not into them uh they have very poor quality so do not recommend but i do want to use them <laughs> see and then you just open this legs of the brad there you go Yes, if we, we would have done this before we glued it down, which is a better way to go, to be honest. I mean, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, then you could put some tape on it. I am going to put some tape on it later, uh, but it will be very like sort of fiddly. Okay, so now we have the closure. There you go. Shall we do some decorating? For the decorating, I want to use washi stickers. I don't know about you, but I have a million. And I hardly ever use them. I think it's very difficult to do a collage with paper on here. Because this is sort of flexible and paper isn't flexible. But washi stickers, look at this beautiful box. Washi stickers are flexible. So I was thinking, let's make a collage. Well, this is already a collage with some washi stickers. I love this. And then have some sort of label type of whatever. Like this. Maybe a flower. Uh, yes, I also have flowers. I have lots of flowers. I have this book. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. Mm, do there you go. Yeah, I have like books full of these that I never ever use. These are a little bit too modern for what I'm looking for. Look at all these. I mean, what else am I going to do with them? I don't know. Nothing. Oh yeah, here are some flowers. Let's see. Is this too big? It's a little bit too big. I have more flowers, guys. I have lots more flowers. Oh, this is nice. Oh yeah, let's have this one. Let's have that one. Cool. So I'm I'm making a collage with uh, washi stickers, and I'm thinking that will work. Zooming you in again. There you go. Okay, the washi stickers are sticky because you know stickers, uh, but still I think it needs a little bit of help. So. I am going to use arthritic glue as well. Let me see if I can peel this a bit. Yes, yes, I can. 
And there you go. Let's see how we're gonna do this. I don't know. I just I'm just trying out some things, guys. I'm just gonna put some glue, especially on the edges. Still stuck a little bit to the to the backing. And there you go. Let's have it on straight, right? Yeah. Is this straight? Straight-ish. Straight-ish. Yeah. Oh, that is stuck. Yeah. Oh, that works. No problem. And then this one. Van Dier. That's Dutch. But the rest of it is French. And it's, it's like English, Dutch, and French. Yeah, this is definitely from my own colleagues. <laughs> there you go. I think the extra glue works. I do not trust it to be stuck on there without that. Oops, a little bit more over here. Thank you. I never made a collage with um, washi stickers. You could also use some washi tape. If you have some, you have some. <laughs> yeah, I have washi tape. She said, ashamed of the amount of washi tape she has. Oh, I have so many. Hopefully this will work with the glue. Just some dots here and there. Okay, where do we want it? Let's have it over here. There you go. Sticking out a little bit. I'm gonna do a snippy snippy. Just a bit and add some more glue. Cute, right? Yeah, so we'll do something on the back. Just a little bit, a tiny bit. Something, something. I have my book. Um, another flower. See how many flowers I have. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. I have one of these. Yeah, that could be nice. I also had some. Oh yeah, I had these. Aren't these lovely? Yeah, I'm gonna do one of these. Just a simple one. Over here. Yeah. So yeah, I'm using up my washi stickers that I never use and I'm using wallpaper. The kind that I also hardly ever use. Dum -dum. But then you can yeah, sort of nicely decorate it. If you have the design wallpaper, you're not gonna decorate it anymore. Great. Here's one. Oh, I'm sorry, my camera. Okay, let's do another one. This is a little bit bigger than the other one was. So I want the, um, the flaps to be a little bit bigger as well. Let me get my big Kermit scoring thingy out. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm using this tool. It has a little ball on it. Because I do not want the wallpaper to rip. Right, so uh, I'm scoring at an inch. Simple, right? Yeah, very simple. Doing the pencil trick again. Yep, I'll do the pencil trick. Yep. This is more of a square, square piece. Yeah. 
There you go. Okie dokie. So I'm folding this up. And like so. And then folding this over again. love the color. Can you see? A little bit of greenish, grayish. Really lovely. Taking out the scissors. You can mass make these. Yeah. Just make them in advance and then decorate them once you know where you're going to use them. I already know I'm going to use them in the botanical journal. So that is why I can already decorate them. Until that fold, yeah. slant it again, making a snippy here. There you go. Fairly easy, right? Want to do the same trick? Yeah. But I want to make these a bit smaller. So I am marking at an inch. Over here as well. Oops. Just like making a tack shape. And the other one. There you go. Righty. Yep. Again, taking off a bit here. Folding this in. Yep, there we go. And there we go. How will this look? Great. Great. Fold them really, really well. Getting my glue out. Easy peasy. Do not glue it there. You told your viewers, do not glue it there. And then you're gluing it there. Yeah, stupid me. There we go, pulling it in, getting out my lovely assistance, there you go, one and two, and then the other side, I am making this for my journal, but you can make this for a happy mail, or just, you know, to send someone, to keep your stuff in, do not glue on your mat, lovely. There you go. Oops. You think this will work? Oh yeah, I'm going to use the green again. No problem. While it is drying, we are making this one. Uh, do I have another green one? See, and it's also, it's really fast. It's a really fast sort of project. You don't need envelope punch boards to make envelopes. No. You need scissors. There you go. Oh, again, I glued it down again. <laughs> I glued it down again before I made the closure. It's okay. It is okay. We'll manage. Just put your fingers underneath. Be careful not to stick in your finger because ow. Very much ow. There you go. 
another one of these. Let's do a, a bigger one. I have this one. Oh yeah, perfect color. Let's not use the rubbish ones. Yes. Is this hole big enough? Probably not. on here lovely now for some decorating i already um looked up some of the decoration i want to use like this one and then i have this label pharmacy mr daniels i love this middleton's better apples just sort of a apple theme going on over here and then look at this that's just too cute. It's just too cute. Something like this? You think? I think. So. um, Where's my pin? Yeah. Probably some of you guys are going to ask, oh, where did you get the stickers from? They're all from AliExpress. But, ladies, I am so sorry. Because I have had these for like three years now. I, I cannot find any links anymore away you might get them. Very sorry. If you want the wallpaper. Um, at the moment I still have some wallpaper packs left in my shop. But because I'm doing a 100 day project. I have not been active in my uh, shop. Uh, last couple of well months. Uh, but I will be again. Uh, starting uh, July. No June 1st. June 1st, I will have uh, new items in my shop. Probably have some wallpaper and some other lovely goodies, of course. There you go. And um, wallpaper, I can recommend because it is flat. I can send it in an envelope. So I ship it internationally. If you want to have real books or other items that are more like a substantial form, um, I do not really recommend. I'm, I'm no, I'm a very bad business person. Uh, I just don't recommend it because shipping costs are very, very high. Unless um, you save up. If you save up your order, I need the other side. I need the other side. If you save save up your order, just have a like a larger box. With a couple of items then the shipping cost will be well worth it but not just for one item my rule is if the shipping costs are less than the, the cost of the goods you're good <laughs> but you know uh, i am dutch and we dutch we are cheap we are cheap so maybe you have like a whole different opinion on this there you go. Where did I want to put it? Over here, right? Yeah. You're yapping again, lovey. You're just yapping, yapping, yapping again. Yeah. Love this one. And then this one goes here. Milton apples. Yeah. Also, working on my um, digital set, I found some lovely images that I want to use. It's going to be fantastic. Well, I think it's going to be fantastic. Oh, I took it off completely. Why? Why'd you do that? Mm. Because you cannot do two things at a time. There you go. The brat is underneath here. <laughs> and then this one. Yeah. Lovely heart. I had a comment a couple of weeks ago. 
um, it was when I made the specimen cards with the bugs in them uh, because some people really don't like bugs and then uh, one of my sub subscribers I'm sorry I, I forgot her name but it was hilarious she was like well I uh, I cannot stand hearts <laughs> and it was just too funny it was too funny well you know that can happen <laughs> alrighty then let's have this over here yes over here like so this needs more glue just this corner Lovely! Yeah, lovely. This also needs more glue. There you go. I want something on the back. We could do... Um, I was thinking a little apple with a bow. Maybe this is too small. It's a rather large um, space here. Maybe we could do something else. book cover but it goes up this way no i'm going to quickly grab something else because i have lots of stuff of course you have something else babe you must you must have something else well i do i'm looking for the ones yes i have all of these see oh yeah don't look any further we're here we're gonna use this one. Apple here, bow here. No, no, just this one. I get some questions about my shop, what's still available. Uh, let me um, give you a small trick. Um, just use the hashtag, hashtag 709 available. 709 available. And then, on Instagram that is, of course. And then you'll see everything that is still available for sale in my shop. And there you go. Yes, the second one. Okay, last one, I promise, I promise. Um, guys, I opened up the garden doors because it was so hot, so there are birds now. Uh, took another piece. This is, has some ridges on it, sort of a taupey color. I like it. I like it. There we go. I'm gonna do this again. An inch. On both sides. There you go. Want to do the pencil trick? Yep, I'm going to do the pencil trick. Well, my eyesight is actually okay, but it's very hard. There's some lights here and I cannot hover over my project because then you'll see my stupid hat in short all the time. There you go. this over here and then this fold it like so yep let's measure the bits from the top I am again going for an inch I guess yeah no, three quarters of an inch. Why? Just, you know, because I just feel like it. Lining it with the fold here. So easy. Need to mark it because I cannot see it. Cannot see it from this angle. There you go. This one. This 
Let's see here. Not a snippy. Here as well. There you go. Almost there. See? We're here. Um, taking off a bit again. <laughs> So, so fast. Everything works so, so fast. Again, why am I left with this bit? Because you do not cut straight, love. Eh? Yeah, that's probably it. That is probably it. Great. It does look metallic because of the light shining. It is not metallic. It isn't. Well, it does have a little bit of metallic flakes in it. But in real life, it does not. Uh, it does not look that shiny. It's not that shiny. Where are my clamps? Here's one. Here's the other one. Let's do this one. Again, I'm closing up before I do the circle bit, but you know I am I am quite used to it now, <laughs> so I'm guessing it will be fine. If I've managed uh, two envelopes, I'll manage the third one. I still have this green. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm just gonna use the this green one again. However, I don't have green backing anymore. But that's okay because it doesn't need to be the same color. You're not even gonna see it. No. Maybe you need to leave it dry for a little bit longer. Yes, I should. But I'm in a hurry envelope. I'm in a hurry. Let's have it here. It's a miracle I didn't stab myself with this thing. It's an absolute miracle. Let's have another bread. Um, I don't like these colors with the brown. I want something more brown. Well, that's a perfect color. Perfect color. This is not really in the middle. No. <laughs> it is not. It is not. But it doesn't need to be perfect, guys. It's junk journaling. No need for perfection. Good. I also had some stickers already. Ready for the decorating part. I have this sort of label sticker. This says postal card. This beautiful sort of what what will we call it? Like a bush. <laughs> and this is a washi sticker from a washi tape. Yeah. Weird, right? Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to start with this one. Putting some extra glue on it. Plum plum. That was a big thump. It's my neighbor. He's angry and closing the doors. Hopefully you didn't you didn't hear that one. 
it's still such lovely weather outside it, it's not as hot as it was yesterday yesterday it was really really hot and i cannot stand the heat oh. <laughs> i was gluing it on the backing there you go i think the most important thing is to glue like the edges so the washi sticker won't peel up. Yeah, these two. There we go. Let's see. I love this one. Why did you never use it? I don't know. I don't know. I know I need to start using these because they're lovely. And you know, as soon as I finish them, I can buy new ones. <laughs> Promise myself. There we go. And a big plant that looks like some sort of a bush. Oh, am I am I able at all in frame? I don't know. It just kept kept moving towards the end. There you go. Just a flower on the back, just a simple one. That could be nice. Okay, I'm gonna do the flower and I'm gonna do this label and maybe a bow, but I don't know. But first we're gonna put on this label. This is a very big pin, huh? do not use that one. Use this one, there you go. Normally, if I glue down washi tape or stickers, and if I then use the glue, it'll be like a uh, normal glue stick. But, you know, this wallpaper, I don't know about the normal glue stick. I don't think it will hold. I'm going to snip up, up off a little bit of the bottom because I want this to be a little bit lower. Yeah. Because I do not want whole, the whole flower to go underneath the flap. I don't mind it disappear a little bit, but you need to see that it's a flower. Can you believe I am still um, using the normal bottle? I have not refilled it. And there's a lot in here still, so. This glue goes a long way. A long, long way. There you go. Bo? Yes, bow. Yes, a bow. Yes to the bow. Well, another day, another bow. It wouldn't be a good crafting day if we did not use a bow, right? There we go. So cute. Good. Let's see the end result. Here they are. This is the smallest one. This is what we started with. Very cute. And then with the flower on the back. Can you see the... Oh yeah, you can see the design on here. It's a very lovely design. Yeah. And then this one. A little bit more greenish. Just a little bit more. Uh, some sort of a modern... A collage on it i really like it and then we did just a simple one on the back see lovely and then this one the brownish one yeah i love this see it's peak it's just hidden a little bit but not but not a lot but not a lot 
And I really wanted to have that flower on here. Yeah, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very simple project. Again, the special thing about it is we used wallpaper. So if you have wallpaper, just, you know, go to the attic and see if you have some rolls left from, I don't know, the hallway or the kitchen or whatever. You probably have some wallpaper somewhere. Uh, use it up because why not? Guys, thank you for hanging out with me today and I'll be back again tomorrow, of course, with day 89. Until then, bye bye.